Hey guys, Michael Ons here. So today, finally, the POH update came. Man, I've been waiting for this update for a very long time. If you watch my Road to 200 mil series, I have been trying to predict it like for three weeks, and man, I, I think the dev blog came out like a month ago too. But hey, it's finally here. I can finally not have to worry about spellbook swapping or any of that and there's a lot of really cool things that they added to it which you know that's a huge plus but as you can see in this clip the day before I decided you know I, I'm pretty sure prices are gonna increase on the day of release and you know some big items like the Pharaoh Scepter all that shit is worth like 8 mil now probably I bought mine for like five mil like a very long time ago which was saved me a couple mil there but yeah i just got all the signets and you know i i went back in the q a live stream well it wasn't really a q a uh the community live stream and i just decided you know what i'm just gonna get this over with that it's that way i can just on release wake up build everything i needed and i'm set um, I, I bought a little bit of extra stuff by accident, like magic stones, those are like one mil each. But I managed to sell them back, which is pretty good. Um, I decided to, you know what, just kind of remove some of my other, my old shit in my house. Like as you can see now, my house is pretty awful. Um, I've had this layout since 2013, back when you had to slay in the Slayer Tower and having house portals was really useful back then man times have changed but yeah I, d I just decided to just completely change my house um, a lot of things like are pretty redundant and I don't really need so huge makeover I basically just cut my house in half in a way <laughs> oh man but yeah it was kind of annoying I the one thing I should have done was list every item in my notepad and like every object that I wanted to build and have like a separate section for each because all the material I just added them all up and I was like oh okay I'll just figure it out bad idea because <laughs> when I was building it I just took a screenshot of everything and I just you know just kept banking and I don't know what happened to my butler but I guess I deleted a bed or something and my butler just pieced out so that was weird but yeah I gotta say this is a really amazing update I've spent about 20 to 30 mil on this update um, I, I just really like what they did with the with some of the floor design and a lot of things just really look really cool so you know that jewelry box thing that thing is pretty funny you know I thought the achievement diary had a lot of key binds on it but man this thing is <laughs> this thing has so many the only one I can remember is I which is a GE because that's the one I used the most when I was building uh, and as you can see this is where I thought you would have to upgrade it from dark altar to a dark altar and Arceus to all three afterwards which is why I got three magic stones but turns out you actually only have to upgrade it once you just build one then you upgrade it to the occult which is pretty awesome I like that um, and as you can see I'm just like going through it I'm just like dude is this is this real because <laughs> I gotta say this is this right here is gonna be just quick for a lot of things clue scrolls slayer you know smoke devils barraging the catacombs uh, Jad you know there's a lot of times where I use vengeance to speed up my jad task so you know I don't have to worry about that at all and I designed it so like my portal when I spawn in I'm closest to like it's more oriented so I can swap more often rather than use the tree spirit even though it's like like a one square difference it's not that big of a deal but yeah this is also something I don't know why they added it's just like oh cool all the champion scroll guys it didn't show like which ones that you have killed or you know I thought that's the whole point of it but it's pretty cool you can show off your achievements your quests and all that stuff and you can also see your clue scroll rank so 
if I ever want to have a house party, which not in my house's current form, and don't worry, it's not like this. Later on, you'll see a lot of changes. But yeah, I put my jar of dirt in there because I don't know, I really like the Kraken one out of the most. I think it looks really cool. I think it just has a lot of detail and yeah. I also made the hedge in in here look like the Kraken, so <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the tree spirit. This is probably going to be the quickest way to a tree spirit. I don't think it's going to be quick for a fairy ring because I'm pretty sure the quest cape is going to be quicker. I'm not sure about that though. Maybe it's like two squares, like two ticks different, I don't know. But the tree spirit, that's for sure. The tree spirit, basically like the quickest way is to use your explorer's ring, I think. And you just run south if you have one planted. And you know, now I can just teleport to my house and boom, I have a tree spirit. That's pretty cool, you know, to plant stuff like this in your house. And I also, you know, the, the, the uh, I forget what it's called, but I didn't like the whole mushroom. I don't know, like, I, I forget what it's called, but like the whole design. I didn't like the, the mushroom one or the Zen one. So later on, you'll see I spent like 20 mil right here on the Tazar. And oh boy. Oh boy. What a mess, honestly. <laughs> I I don't know. I just I just liked it on the stream. I, I, I've heard a lot of opinions saying like, oh, I don't like it. It's, you know, it's six onyxes. But it looks so cool. I just like the Tazar. I have the Jad Pet. I made my house kind of like a volcano you know dark theme in a way so I liked it and the pool thing is also amazing I love that that is amazing but anyways guys this is the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed I gotta say this update is a 10 out of 10 although it did it's pretty expensive and a lot of people can't really do it you know what can you do and uh, I did go staking today, and I gotta say, there's a lot of people staking. <laughs> it's pretty funny, and I think a lot of those are PKers trying to get the the pool, which is pretty interesting. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. <laughs>